It's been an absolutely amazing year. We cannot believe that the twins are already a year old. We all joked, I mean, I heard it probably from every one of the team that she's going to have twins. But it was a joke and we, we did our due diligence and checked with some of the experts around the country. Everyone said, nope, it's, that's normal. So once she went into labor, it was very, very fast. We did remark that he was a little on the small side considering her size because, you know, we still were kind of joking about, well, where's the other one? I was in my office when Ashley called me. She kind of screamed that uh, there was a second cat. I thought she was joking, so I said, yeah, that's funny. And she said, no, really, there's a second calf. By the time I got up there, the vets were finishing working on it. So it was really important that all those drills, all the things we had there, the, the equipment to help him breathe, help his heart rate get stimulated, and all the things that we were prepared for and used um, are what, why he's still here. Everybody was so shocked when Tukata dropped. There was just a moment of stillness for a second because um, everybody was waiting for placenta to drop and then she dropped a baby. But I think especially once Dr. Noha and Dr. Eddie kind of determined that he was doing well, doing fine and on his way to, you know, standing up on his own, they was like, okay, like we've kind of made it over this very scary hump and like, we have twins. It was a really exhilarating moment. <laughs> They're both doing phenomenal, especially with their training. Um, these two have definitely progressed a lot more than what we've had babies progress in the past because they're constantly playing together, they're constantly pushing each other to new levels where we didn't necessarily have that when we just had one or there was a bigger age gap between two. Um, and I think that's something that really sticks out, at least for me now with them, is how willing to learn and willing to train and willing to participate in anything and everything we, we throw at them. Yeah, it's the training is like one of my favorite parts and they're doing great. I would consider Takata one of those that he's very interested in new, newer things where Yad's more kind of like, I'll let you check it out first before I, I check it out. Tukata a lot of times is a lot more laid back, if you will. Um, and a lot of times he's kind of just content to stand there and chill with you without food where Yad is um, kind of seems it's, like he just drank an energy drink sometimes. <laughs> personalities are like, Night total and day. opposite. Yep, total opposite. Takata has been very calm and very gentle. Sometimes he doesn't want to take treats, he just wants to like smell your shoe, but like our shoes for a while were like his favorite thing. Whereas Yad is very outgoing and very excited over everything. Very food motivated. Very Yad is food so food motivated. Yeah. You don't want an hour long training oh, session, but he'll never keep stop. going and going and going. Whereas Takata sometimes like he'll get his fill of food and he'll just want to hang out with you. In all the, the pool videos, the elephant that's mostly in the pool is Takata because he is more brave and it like explores more and so he's more into like new enrichment. He's super down to like try new things and stuff like that whereas Yad's a little bit more nervous. Eventually he does go in and he had a lot of fun but he's a little bit more hesitant. But he would do training all around that pool. But did you want to go in it? Not initially. Oh. My favorite has been watching them learn how to dust and throw sand on themselves. They're not very good at it yet, but they just kind of blow a little cloud next to their ears. They're trying really hard. I would say they're definitely more adventurous than a calf that's on their own. Um, because they have each other, they tend to wander more away from their, their mom and will get further distances, which is definitely something that the other calves would tend to stay a little closer to mom. Takata is very interested when people are on the speakers now. Um, whenever one of our team members goes on the speaker to do our demonstrations or talk to the public, Takata likes to come right over to the speaker and threaten it in a way. He likes putting his ears out, likes to be a big bad elephant. Um, whenever that speaker comes on. It's quite funny to watch. Between the two brothers, you can definitely tell they're attached to each other um, in a special way. Happy birthday, Yad!